everyone and welcome to so vanutai chavan polytechnic we have with us today our alumni rohit modak and rahul ande i heartily welcome both of you thank you ma'am uh, i request rohit and rahul to give a brief introduction uh, my name is rahul ande i have been studying diploma in uh, siegad so vanutai chavan polytechnic and uh, my degree in rmd uh, siegad school of engineering and apart from this i have been taking karate classes and i have a black belt in karate and now only in my final year i've got a job in jaro education uh, it is a marketing and sales company as a career development executive thank you so much uh, hi everyone i'm rohit modak i have been in diploma since 2013 to 2016 and uh, then i've joined nbm for my engineering and i have also uh, i have also got placed in the same company jaro education actually uh, we can see jaro top scholar which is a kind of child company of jaro education that they are starting and um, yeah that's it please thank, okay, thank you rohit and rahul uh, it's indeed a proud proud moment for all the svcp faculties to see our students placed with attractive packages hearty congratulations to both of you for that and i would like both of you to throw some more light upon the placement part i'm the placement part was more like a bit of communication skills exactly because the company which we are going is more preferring on the communication skills of the employee so the basic or whatever basically i would say ki like from diploma only i got all the benefits from my college svcp so vinitai chavan polytechnic they gave me a lot of credit because they used to conduct various soft skills and various uh, communication skills programs and due to which it become necessary like the foundation which we can say the foundation i got in svcp only and from that i got to know ki what actually go, goes through an interview and apart from this i was also studying gd i was also studying for my personal interview like served various youtube videos to how to crack a sales interview job because it's totally different from mechan- mechanical field and yeah ma'am I, i i was a bit confident bit bold during my interview and it helped me a lot thank you great Uh, what happened was in the interview we can see that the, they asked some questions which were very tricky, which a person can't get to know about unless he has been through it. What happens in Siagad is that uh, firstly the Jaro Education is a management uh, company, uh, or the profile that we are getting is on business or management side. It is not on technical side totally. So what happens at Siagad Institutes, uh, be it diploma or engineering, I've experienced it in both the cases. We have our fests we have our technical fests and uh, in both of these uh, colleges uh, even in in my, even in my last year of diploma or rather right now also in both of these colleges i was as the uh, i was at the head position of this college as the technical tech fest head we can say so what happened was it was a free kind of management training that i have got here so i kind of had that knack of uh, you know knowing things i i knew about ki what what was going to happen what we have to talk about how confident we should be being the head i have to uh, i had to speak in front of public so that uh, built the confidence inside me i was never nervous in front of the interviewer he yeah, obviously a tad bit nervous because it was my first interview that is uh, just in the back of my mind but then once i get to talk to that person i got really comfortable that was something that i got from sevan series because the tech fest is hold on a such a large scale that people get free kind of management training throughout it when they get an opportunity and i would like to thank all of my faculty who have been there to support i can't name any one because all of them which have been knowing me they have recommended me that he should be the one we are going to push forward as the head and it is just because of them that i had got that opportunity and through that i got a way out in this we can say very well said uh, so what is the role of diploma education in your degree studies and uh, when you face the interview how far has all this uh, education or all the studies that you had in diploma these things have helped you i mean you know like uh, in 10th standard like from 1st to 10th we usually in a lot of the studies only like we don't get a lot of a lot of opportunities to explore ourselves but in diploma when i came into diploma like i was not with that intention to do 11 12th at all because in diploma we get a lot of practical knowledge like i have heard from my fellow friends also practical knowledge is sort of stuff like stp there was a student training program which was conducted by svcp which was conducted by the management team in order to push like how we will go through an interview and how we will crack interviews in a very efficient way all those good things were taught by various teachers also in my college also in diploma college which i mean to say 
and also the various credibility courses which went me through the interview very well till date. Mm -hmm. So um, there are two things like after schooling a person gets two things. One is he gets to know that he has, a, he has to build a career or he gets to know that he has to study. Both things are right at their places but then if you are looking for a career or a job after your engineering then the what diploma does to you is and I guess I am not saying that 11, 12 people are not good or they are not that much into it or building careers and stuff but then it is really hard for them and it is really easy for us because at diploma we get to taught uh, we get to uh, we get to know that we need to build a career we just don't need to study and pass in the subjects we need we, we are totally building our profile which we have to show to show to someone tomorrow that is how we are going to communicate with those people that is how the companies are going to approach us that that is how the companies are going to view us like for example in the first year of diploma i remember we had a soft a soft skills program now i attached the certificate of that soft skills program in my cv and i had got questions about that because they are looking for the certificates and whatever extra curricular things that you have done i mean you, you never know that what kind of company is approaching you. For example, it can be technical, it can be non-technical, it can be totally different, something like you have never imagined. But then you should be ready for each kind of situation. Academics are happening at, at that place. Like for example, first to tenth, we don't see academic as a pressure. Like we have to pass in subjects. No, we have to do that. But if, what happens after tenth is we start looking, our, our perspective changes about that overall scenario. Right. So what diploma does to us is, it doesn't make us lose it. It keeps it. It keeps it in the flow that you have to do that. So that is going to happen at its place. It is bound to happen, and you have to do something else. You have to be a standing out person. You have to. You have to. You have to be out of the box. That is what a uh, diploma enforces us upon. So that is how it helped me. Also, as Rahul said, practically we were very much strong. And in, in if we look at academics, if it is my, it is not like it is bound to happen. So it will happen. It is not like that. We were taught very well and we were, you know, taught from the very scratch and we were practically and technically very good the, the from some the of the people. Foundation course was developed. Yeah, exactly. Now the people that we are with in our uh, engineering who have done their 11th and 12th, they are equally good. We won't say that. But we were, we were having a faster growth in our second years when we went because we were able to grasp the knowledge really soon because we knew the foundation basically. Right, and because the foundation or the base was clear, you yeah. always had a plus point and even in future you will exactly. always have yeah, a plus exactly. point yes. because you are technically more sound so. and as you both said, you uh, also have uh, like uh, developed your soft skills, soft skills you are trained exactly. upon that. So this is again an additional benefit, Absolutely. right? Uh, so would you both recommend diploma education for the 10th standard students? Sure, sure, obviously, sure. obviously. Like diploma education is the best education which I have been, been through in my life. Because in 11, I'm not criticizing 11, 12 that you shouldn't do 11, 12. But the thing about diploma is, ma'am, every teacher is focusing on every student of the class and they encourages people to do what they have to be doing in their diploma life. Because it's like not only studies are important, with that other extracurricular activities, like there are these various events in Seagal cultural events, like two-wheeler maintenance programs, like uh, inter entrepreneurship development, which is very good. Like it gives a stand, stand platform to the people where they can express themselves in a very good way. Like okay. people, uh, students here get so much trained in going ahead in life and I feel very good that, yeah, diploma should, like people should be doing diploma in their mm -hmm. life. So uh, not uh, not only in the, uh, like not only from the job point job of point view, of but people, also yeah. from Overall point business of point, point of point view. Of view. Also. Yeah. So what happens is in 11th and 12th, that is basically schooling. It can be said that 11th and 12th, they have, 12th is just a board exam which is exactly similar to 10th. 10. Where you have to put all your things into your academic manner and you have to stop eating and focus on karna. It is similar to that. And they have to study. That, that is like the basic education that we have and that is also good at its place, not criticizing anything. But then, what happens in diploma is some benefits I'm telling you. Like what happens? Firstly, we get technical knowledge. It is a kind of mini engineer. If you are very sure that you want you want to be an engineer, then diploma is a better option because you get to know about all the technicalities. 
now being in the last year of engineering, I can see there's like 25% change in the syllabus, yes. max 25%. At least you also would have experience. It, there's nothing uh, uh, like zameen asmana tha for a ke kaid some similar na. It is nothing like that. There is a tad bit short change. That's it. That has to be there, obviously, because we are learning a higher program right now. But then. Uh, also, uh, what I can say is we have a final year project in diploma, yes. such as our engineering. So we know the pressure, we know how it works, we know that we have to publish papers, we know that there's going to be pressure, we know development like a Also, uh, we get to go to competitions. Like I have been to around nine competitions in my final year diploma. At that time I used to feel like what kind of cut cut is this? Why I have to go there? I have made my project now, I'll submit it and I'll go out of the college. But then now it kind of helped. In my final year project, I'm not feeling that pressure anymore that we have to go to competition. I have taken it for granted that we have to go. Anyhow, we have to go. And we used to compete with the people who are in engineering. engineering yeah. We used to go to the competitions. Like the same people. level. Ha, we, we were on the same level. Same like competition level. was a similar level. Like the diploma so they can engineering. engineering as well. So we used to, we used to compete, uh, compete with them. I know that we, I used to know at that time that we are not going to win something. Rather, I did win only once, I guess. That was, that was another thing. But it was a good experience, you know. We knew ki how to present our project. See, it also helps in our interview. What happens is now we are into retail sales profile. So we have to sell our product. Sell our product. So yes. project competitions gave us a top view that how we should sell a product because that is a product basically. That project is our product, which we have to sell to the company or to the interviews. Interview. So that also kind of helped and right now also I guess in our final years we don't have any kind of project pressure project like we are seeing so some like people. We are, we are going it a very fluent way. Like we don't have any pressure. We know the milestones. You have already adapted yeah, yourselves to that yes, culture. Yes, yeah. It is already in, in that comf- We are still in that comfort zone. Yes. Yes. It is like we are repeating the thing that we have already done. Which is the best done. part already actually. Already done in diploma and now we are doing it in degree also. Yeah, it's like just a mirror image of the same thing. We are doing it again and again. It, it feels good. It really feels good. Very nice. Uh, so, would you like to give some message to uh, the whole SOCT alumni team? Uh, ma'am, absolutely. Because it's like uh, people, huh, like what I would like to say is the students which are which are going through an interview, like they have an, a sort of view like, yes, I want to get selected. I want to go for a job exactly. I don't want to go for business. But the thing about this is, first we need to gain some practical knowledge. The thing is, first go for a job for two years. Like people always say, like uh, after my engineering, I'll rather set up my own business. But setting up your own business is a very bit hard at that point of time because we don't have that practical knowledge in us. Like going through an interview, going through a placement thing, gives us an idea like how the market is going, how the market is going through, and what type of people market are expecting. So from that point of view, only after your tenth, you should start developing your skills. You should start working on extracurricular activities, like not only studies. Studies is also good at its way, but with that, all the extracurricular things we should be put on in our life and then we should go forward for it. So, if I have to give a message to uh, the alumni team of uh, SVCP, then I have been associated with it for three years and uh, actually my uh, brother is passed out from the same college and he is also part of it, Mayesh Vashikar. Uh, he's be, he's a mechanical engineer mechanical, yes. and uh, he he's all, he actually because of him I got to know about SVCP in the first place and I was like I'll take here only I don't want to get to, I don't want to go anywhere else if I'm doing a diploma I'll do it in SVCP and I have it's not because of him or it's not because of I've been into this college I'm not saying it with any kind of partiality but I've seen the bond the very the very close bond that we have when in our alumni meets. I've been in two alumni meets. One was cancelled, I guess, last year. I, it was postponed somewhere, but I could not be there. But in two alumni meets, I've been there and I've seen that bond. I've seen all the people come, and it is really fascinating that people are such close to each other even after so many years. And I see that diploma keeps us attached. I mean, I am really in touch with uh, my professor. I uh, I was in IT, so uh, Professor Shishetti. I've, I'm still in contact with him. I'm still in contact with Ahir Rao ma'am somewhere. I'm also in contact with Biani ma'am mostly. Also, also you have been, you, you just knew me by my first name. So that was, that was kind of, it, it kind of feels good. The, what diploma does to you is the faculty know you. Right. They personally know you. It is not like they just know you by the name for that those three years. They remember you for the lifetime. No, they, lifetime they, they, yes. they do remember you for the lifetime. And I'm not bragging or I'm not exaggerating this statement. 
like I, I I could not expect when I came yesterday to talk with Biani ma'am. I could not expect her to know me, but she knew that I was heading and been in Tectonics. She knew that I was got placed, and it it was really fascinating. It feels good to know that our faculty still knows us. It's not like only we know we them; know. they also know us. That feels kind of really that good. That is it the best homely. part of SCCP actually. Yeah, it kind of feels really homely to come back here, and you know we are free here. We we don't need to. You know, we don't need to keep up the formalities. Yes, yeah, sir. I mean, here, but here, but here, here, but 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 here, You are from here, everybody, right from the Kaka's and Moses to HODs and principals, everybody knows, everybody, and each person. It's not just us, everybody. Okay, great. So let us hope that this bond of alumni uh, with the faculties grows day by day and it becomes stronger in the future as well, yes, right? Yes. Uh, thank you, Rohit and Rahul, for being here and spending your valuable time with us. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for giving some good messages to the juniors also and to the whole uh, team of SVCP. And uh, we, I, on behalf of all the SVCP faculties, heartily congratulate both of you for the success you have achieved, and we wish you all the best for. a very bright future thank, thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much it means a lot for us yeah.